Hey guys, you are watching Programming Workshop. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use get tags and set tags in Java using NetBean IDE 7.2. So let's get started. Open your NetBean. As discussed earlier in our previous tutorial, we have created a project Programming Workshop and also a J first J frame. Just open it. In this, we are going to use get text and set text. We have created two text field that is T1 and T2. And now, on the action performed event of J button that is show, we have to display the message what we have typed in text text field one should be displayed in text field 2 so here it is demo how to how the application is work you have to go to run and run file this is our application of j form i am typing 1 2 3 in this and then pressing show the message will automatically displayed in text field 2 this is how we are getting input from text field 1 and setting it into text field 2 let's I show you how to do this first of all close it I'm creating a new J frame click on our package that is programming workshop then select right click and new then j frame form name the class that is the file name i'm giving it a form 1 and I'm choosing the package programming workshop and click on finish now we have to use swing controls first of all we have to use labels click it and drag it to the J frame for assigning the value you have to right click on it and then add it text V1 let's say then second label is V2 then I have to get my text field select and drag it to our J frame expanding it adjusting the width and height all that you can do according to your need I'm assigning a variable name to my text field by right clicking on it and then change variable name I'm giving it a T1 then also I'm going again to swing controls and then selecting text field and dragging it to the J frame then ex expanding and adjusting the height and width accordingly then again right clicking and assigning a variable name I'm giving it T2 further we have to erase the text in text field 1 and text field 2 so here is a shortcut in NetBean IDE you just have to select the text field and then press space bar and now you can see that the whole text in the text field is selected press the delete button to erase the text and then press enter the text will disappear same for the second text field and in second text field I am be showing you an alternative method you have to select the text field and then right click edit text delete it and then press enter ok now we are going to create a J button I am using I'm going to swing control then button 
click it and drag it to our frame expand it and assigning a value by right clicking on it edit text show okay now we have to code our application so we have to right click on our J button then I have to select events action then action performed see we have jump on to the source tab previously we are in the design tab here it is and now we are presently in a source tab this is a method name as J button action performed this is a comment in Java for a single line comment we can use double slashes and for multi line comment we can use slash star means asterisk and any text this is how we can give comment to multi lines so going on to our application first of all we have to create a string variable for this we have to type a string remember s is capital then assigning the variable name I'm giving it uh, get equals this is the our variable name it is have a type string and then I am assigning it a value a string variables are generally given values in double quotes but now we have to get input from our text field one that is in the design here it is text field one I have used the variable name t1 so instead of double q2 we have to use t1 dot get text then semicolon each line end with a semicolon and now we have get the value of text field 1 in a string variable get now we have to set the value of get into the text field 2 here it is this is text field 2 so you have to type t2 what is, which is a variable name of text field 2 dot set text now we have to assign get in the bracket we have to convert we can also convert it to string if it is a number it is already a string then we don't require it to convert so our application is now ready to use we can go to run then run file or you can use shift plus f6 to do it this is our view of our application I'm giving any a string value say on clicking on show button I will get the value in V2 that's it this is how we can use get text and set text in Java thanks for watching programming workshop goodbye